Thermal activity reported at Yellowstone's Geyser Hills. New features, new eruptions. National Park observers near Old Faithful witnessed something that had not been seen in years. An eruption of Orem Geyser, writes Kiernan Foles Donahue. On April 24, observers at Geyser Hill in Yellowstone's Upper Geyser Basin, near Old Faithful, witnessed something that hasn't been seen for two years. The Orem Geyser eruption. This medium-sized but charismatic geyser is located at a bend in the path that circles Geyser Hill in front of a shallow pool filled with geyser eggs, fine pebbles made from layers of minerals deposited from geyser water. According to citizen scientists' observations, Orem was witnessed erupting nearly 30 times over the next 14 days, releasing water about 20 feet into the air. Orem's revival isn't the only change at Geyser Hill in recent weeks. On the same day that Orem erupted, the popular beehive geyser erupted twice. Beehives typically erupt every 18 to 22 hours, although with considerable variation. On May 24, a series of eruptions began at shorter intervals of approximately 15 to 16 hours. Small features also become more active. On May 30th, a small geyser known as UNNGGHG-17, a designation based on a system for naming small or unnamed features based on geographic location in the doublet pool runoff channel, began erupting for the first time. Since 2018, throwing water about three feet into the air and settling at a frequency of about once every 90 minutes for the first few days of its rise, Unusual activities at Geyser Hill attract public interest. Citizen scientist Graham Meach observed the 17 eruptions 20 times over two days, carefully noting the timing of the eruptions and the differences in intervals between eruptions. Meach's data covers a critical period in the 17 eruption cycle that would not have been recorded before park officials could install monitoring equipment at the geyser. When 17 started erupting again, a new feature named UNNGGHG-17A emerged. 17A is located approximately 10 feet southeast of 17 and next to the boardwalk. When the new feature erupted, it stirred up center fragments, rock made from minerals precipitated from geyser water, and threw up debris, some of which landed on the pavement. By June 5, the hole from 17A had grown to 2.4 feet in diameter. Meach noted on May 30 that the activity of 17 and 17A were closely related, with 17A consistently erupting about 8 minutes after 17. Just a few days later, the behavior of the new geyser was very different. Even before the geyser flowed between eruptions, National Park geology staff who visited the site on June 5 found a mostly stagnant pool filled to the brim with water. 